drafted or did you enlist? No, I was drafted. Where was, were you living at the Where were you living at the time? Well, uh, we lived south of Chevlin. Oh, okay. Uh, what What month and what year were you drafted? And you remember? Yeah. What? Well, can I look? Sure, absolutely. Sir, October twenty one. No, went to the service nineteen forty four. You went in nineteen forty four. Yeah. Well, if you were drafted, how did you end up in the Navy? No, no, this is the Navy. My, my grandson's got the zero one. Oh, okay. You I, were... I'm an Army man. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Well, when you left here, where did you go for basic training? I went to Camp Fannin, Texas. 1944? Yeah, 44, service. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, serve well, October 44. Yeah, I suppose. That's where you had your basic training. Yeah. Group. When you finished your basic training, where did you go next? We went, uh, we went to, shipped out to New York, or out there. Took a boat over to, we landed in Marseille, France. And from there, I took a troop train over to the German line. Where was that, you know? Mannheim. Okay. And we was there, I don't know how long. I know I went when we crossed into Germany. I crossed on the, this floating bridge they had there, and I ended up to be the first scout. You were part of an infant, infantry outfit. Infantry, yes. Okay. You ended up being a scout. First scout. Okay. What was the scout's job? You you're the, you're not the head man out in the. You find the you find the enemy. You're out there ahead of the crew of troops and see if you can shoot somebody or somebody will shoot you and then they know where you're at. <laughs> and what part of Germany were you in now? For I, I remember uh, Mannheim, Worms, Marseille, I think, in that area. And I know we went through the Oh, what do you call it? Where they had uh, pen pillars for tanks that couldn't get through. Oh, Siegfried Line? Uh, yeah. Something like that. Yeah, something like you, that. You were in Germany at the time? Yeah. Or? Okay. Yeah, and I got wounded in... I want to have to look again now. But you got wounded in... In Germany. Yeah. I got some of the stuff down there. Yeah. No, I don't either. You had to get a purple. Yeah, I was in wounded in Germany anyway. What kind of a wound was it? Rifle, shrapnel? A uh, hand grenade, shrapnel, in my left leg. And a lot of it's still there yet. Still in there. Yes. Now, when you got hit, did they take you back to the first aid hospital tent or whatever? Uh, yeah, I suppose. I I don't remember much where it was, but I know I was in. I don't know if Germany had a hospital or not, but we ended up in France. And uh, they they took all the shrapnel out. My ankle was blew apart. <clears throat> and uh, they set it, come back and checked it. And it wasn't right, so they broke it again and reset it. And then I got shipped back to the States. And I ended up down in Oklahoma to another hospital. And I got shipped up to Michigan where I was discharged. So how much, how many months did you spend in Europe? Any idea? Six months, a year? Uh, less than a year. I was in the service a year and a half altogether. Okay. And I got to uh, end up with a Purple Heart. Yeah. I'm going to look again. Yeah. Purple Heart Combat, combat Infantry Badge. Good conduct medal. Yeah. European, African, Middle East, Eastern ribbons with two bronze stars. 
How much time did you did you spend in combat then? Possibly a year. I was in the hospital six months after I got out, after I came back here. So I was in the infantry total probably a year. Okay. How much of it was uh, it was field combat time? Where you were being shot at? How many how many days or months did you have to be in the field? Trying to find the enemy or whatever it was. I don't know. I can't nobody tell you that. I don't know. Okay, well, that's, that's a good answer. I don't know. If you don't know. Did you have any friends that, that uh, died during these missions? Not really, no. Okay. The ones I, no. The ones I was on the line, they were probably all shot. I don't know. I don't remember that part of it. Okay. But how much time did you have to spend in the field? in combat duty? I would guess probably three, two or three months. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, it sounds like about right. Yeah. Did you, um, did you liberate anything or did you get shot at a lot or do you remember? Uh, the main thing I remember when I got wounded, we were going over a hill. And the Germans were on one side and we were on the other side. That's where you could throw the hand grenade, hand grenade you could throw them. And that's where I got hit. Did the, what happened to your buddies then? <clears throat> Did the, the well, wanna... uh, well, I, I, when I got hit, I was out. I, 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 they took me off the battlefield then. Oh, you, you passed out? Then? Yeah. yeah. I had no idea what's going on after I... Okay. After I cut my boots off, I didn't remember anything. Yeah. And then you, they hauled you back. Did you ever find out what happened to your, your, your buddies? No, I never did. I never kept in contact with them at all, no. Okay. So, I mean, when you were in the hospital, did, did they have to go out and on field duty? What happened to your company after you got hit? I don't really know. I okay. can tell you that because okay. I lost track of everything after that. Well, I can see why. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you were you were lucky then in a way to be wounded so you can get out of the major battle. Well, I guess so. That's what they said. Yeah. Do you remember? Do you remember the exact spot where you were? Which part of, the, of Germany you were in when this took place? Um, Not really, I, okay. I, I don't know. Yeah, okay. About uh, that. How, how did you get to that location? Did they truck you in or did you have to march in there? Or? No, we marched in. How long were you marching? One day, two days? Uh, probably a day. We crossed the river. You know, and then we get, well, that was probably, probably two weeks by the time we crossed in every time I got hit. I'm not sure. Okay. Do you happen to remember the name of the river you crossed? I thought it was the Rhine River. Okay, a big one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then you were you were in some place inside Germany then. Yeah. You oh, crossed yeah. the Rhine. When you crossed the Rhine River, then you were in Germany. Okay. Mm -hmm. That could be any place though. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now you're you're. Did you say you were in the hospital after you got discharged from the army? Also. No, that okay. was before. Okay, but all right. Now you got you came back and got discharged. Where were you to get discharged at? I was in uh, Michigan. Michigan. Yeah, I we say I I start, when I landed in uh, on New York. Or that they took us to uh, Oklahoma, and I was in the hospital there a while. Because of the shrapnel wounds. Yeah. Then they sent me to Michigan. That's where I got discharged. And then you went where? Then I came home after that. Back to? To Shevlin. Shevlin, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you've been here ever since? Yeah. yeah. Do you ever stay in contact with any of your, your former? No, you? I don't. No. You lost track of everybody? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What, what have we missed? I can't. Well. Do you have any notes there? Well, I got a nose, by the way, think we had covered pretty much everything. Okay. I was trained for a rifle and bazooka, machine guns, 
mortar, hand patrol. Well, you were lucky to make it back. Do you, do you still have your purple heart that you gave me? Oh, yeah. You'll we'll have to get that and hold it up for the camera. You can hold it up in front of you. This one? Yeah. Okay. Hold, hold it up for the camera. Okay. 